Frisco's proposed fiscal year 2021 budget follows a year focused on long-range vision. What do we want Frisco to be like 20 years from now? But the big picture approach, which imagined the next big thing, was interrupted by the global pandemic. Texas medical experts said it was inevitable. Now, for the first time, someone in our area has tested positive for the coronavirus. COVID-19 began taking its toll on our livelihoods. Stay-at-home orders were imposed. Households and businesses still struggle. City sales and hotel taxes tumble. Like communities everywhere, the city of Frisco pivots. We turn to our financial reserves set aside for emergencies and a one-time $5.1 million CARES Act federal reimbursement to balance the current budget. The proposed FY21 budget considers the ongoing pandemic and its anticipated impact on our operations in the future. So, the proposed property tax rate stays the same at 0.4466. That's below the no new revenue and voter approval tax rates. Homeowners will still get a 10% homestead exemption. Plus, homeowners over 65 benefit from the $80,000 senior homestead exemption, which also stays in place. New property values increase slightly, about $1.8 billion. Frisco's average home value is about $418,000. That means the average city tax bill will be about $1,800 next year. Now remember, even though the property tax rate is staying the same, if your property value goes up, so will your city tax bill. Compared to last year, the proposed average tax bill will increase about $22 for the entire year. That's less than $2 each month. No rate changes are recommended for water, sewer, or trash services. However, staff is reviewing stormwater rates and may propose an increase based on capital improvement needs related to erosion and slope failures. The proposed general fund budget is balanced at about $183 million. In other words, revenues are expected to equal expenditures. Sales tax revenue has been unpredictable this year. Even so, collections through August are stable though not at the level normally expected in Frisco. So in planning next year's budget, staff projects a 1% increase in revenues for FY21. We were surprised, pleasantly surprised, that we were up about 9% over last year's collections in, in August. So um, it was a very good sign. We are taking that as good news that um, uh, we do have a diverse tax base and our residents and our businesses are able to still be shopping and open even with different hours or adjusted service levels. With the uncertainty, that's just one of our major challenges that we have for the budget uh, for FY21. Building permit revenues are forecast flat. The city of Frisco expects to issue between 1,800 and 2,000 permits for single-family homes next year. The proposed budget supports seven new employees, including six positions at the police department and one for the fire department. Three of the positions are totally supported by grants. Frisco's conservative general fund pays to replace equipment, such as police vehicles, mowers, servers, and fitness equipment at the Frisco Athletic Center. It provides monies to run an employee clinic, too. And road and pavement repairs will continue to be significant during these unprecedented times. While some businesses are closed during the pandemic, the city of Frisco continues to operate conservatively and creatively. Happy birthday to you. The adage, virtually every day, has new meaning. Virtual communications keep us connected and help us do business safely. Debuting during the pandemic, electronic plan review is saving significant time and money for employees and customers. So while the rules may have changed during the health crisis, our core values have not. City of Frisco employees are dedicated to delivering top-notch service to a growing population which taught more than 200,000 this summer. The FY21 proposed balanced budget supports excellent city services while helping our community recover and rebound. The pandemic's total impact is unknown, but one thing is certain, the city of Frisco is designed for resilience.